This is the first problem from the Productivity Module Practice Problems. In this problem, we look at the overall people effectiveness of one physician at a large practice. Remember that an overall equipment effectiveness framework, or people effectiveness framework in this case, is used to understand what portion of a resource's time is used for work that adds value and what portion is wasted. The problem statement includes a lot of information, but the key points are as follows. The clinic is open 260 days per year from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Furthermore, physicians have 30-minute appointment slots to see patients. The physician that we are interested in is Dr. Peters. Dr. Peters has 30 vacation days each year out of 260 total working days. He spends two hours each day for medical records. Notice that the problem states that he loses two hours of work time each day, so that's a pretty good indication that updating records is considered time wasted, not productive time. We are also told that 75% of Dr. Peter's appointment slots are booked. Out of all of the patients he sees, one out of every six patients is a no-show. This means that one out of every six booked appointment slots is wasted. Finally, we are told that Dr. Peter spends 23 minutes with each patient, not the full 30 minutes. However, five minutes could be done by an assistant. So that means that 18 minutes, 23 minus five, are actually productive for every patient that he sees. The first question asks us how many patients he sees on a typical day at work. Since he is at the clinic from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., he spends 10 hours at work. However, two hours are spent on records, so that means he has eight hours available to see patients. 30-minute slots means that he can see up to two patients in one hour, so eight hours times two slots per hour means that he has 16 slots available to see patients per day. However, remember that not all of these slots are booked. 75% of slots are booked. So 75% times 16 equals 12 slots that are booked per day. Finally, one out of every six patients who book an appointment doesn't show up. One out of six times 12 equals two. So that means Dr. Peters has two no-shows per day. 12 minus two is 10, which means Dr. Peters sees 10 patients each day. The second question asks what his OPE is. Remember, OPE is the amount of time the resource, in this case Dr. Peters, is doing value-added work, divided by the total amount of time the resource is available. First, let's calculate the total number of minutes available for him to work each year. 260 days per year. times 10 hours per day, times 60 minutes per hour, equals 156,000 minutes that are available for him to work each year. Now let's calculate how many minutes Dr. Peters does value-added work. He spends 18 minutes of value added time with every patient and he sees 10 patients per day for 230 days out of each year. So multiplying those together we get 41,400 minutes of value added work each year then our OPE is simply 41,400 divided by 156,000, which equals 0.265.
five, four.